<laughs> so my name's Ian White. I work for People's Trust for Endangered Species as their dormice and training officer. Dormice are a small uh, rodent uh, and they're quite rare. They hi hibernate. They're only one of our two terrestrial mammals that hibernate. Um, and they live in old woodlands and old hedgerows. The old uh, hedgerows have declined. The old woodlands, or the managed woodlands have declined. Um, dormice as a species have, have declined as well. The reintroduction program was set up to look to re-establish dormice from, from areas which have become extinct. That's what we're doing here today. Uh, I'm Jim Turner. I work for Natural England on National Nature Reserves in South Cumbria and North Lancashire and I've been working on dormouse conservation. We're releasing 30 dormice into the woods in the Anside Silverdale LMB, which is really exciting opportunity. The uh, dormouse population nationally has declined since the 1990s, probably roughly about 50%, and they used to be present in every county in um, England, and uh, are now largely in the south with some remnant populations in the north, so this is a really exciting opportunity to get um, dormice uh, established in uh, the Anside Silverdale A and B and get a healthy population in some really fantastic connected habitat and um, and that will hopefully bolster that northern population as well. This reintroduction is important for a number of reasons. One, this is the thousands of dormice we're releasing, which is quite exciting. And also I think uh, it's important because Dormice uh, populations currently are in the southern part of the country. Um, one of the, the impacts that we're seeing potentially of climate change is that our, our climate and is, is changing and we don't know what's going, to, what's going to happen to that over the next 20, 30 years. And it may well be as we establish dormice uh, again in the northern areas, it may be that those populations become the more robust populations and there may be more negative impacts on those populations in the south. We simply don't know, so you could look at it as kind of an insurance policy against climate change. The area we've, we've put them in today is, is a beautiful and well-managed woodland and we're going to look to another introduction next year. It, it would be pretty close to this one. And the idea is to get wood dormice established um, within the local area. And I'm pretty confident that's, that's going to happen. Um, there's a number of partners on board to achieve that. Um, and there's a lot of enthusiasm both from the, the uh, local conservation organisations but also from local people as well. And that's really important to engage the local, local people to, to get involved in this sort of work. Uh, so yeah, I'm quite excited about it. Uh, so I'm Jamie Armstrong and I'm one of the rangers uh, with the National Trust at Arnside and Silverdale. I think for, for the local wildlife it just adds a bit more variety. Um, sort of a more naturally balanced ecosystem is generally better for everything. Uh, the more species you have, the more healthier your ecosystem will be. Um, and it just, as soon as you start taking um, species out of an ecosystem it tends to sort of break down. We, uh, we might not realise it. But over time, the more species you remove, the, um, the weaker your ecosystem becomes. So the more species you have, the, the better it is for wildlife in general and for us. If your dormouse are doing well, you, it's an indicator that your woodlands are in really good state. So um, uh, a well-managed woodland is really good for um, uh, that flush of regenerating understory that a dormouse loves. But it's also really good for um, native uh, woodland birds, invertebrates, um, woodland flora and the tree species themselves. So it's like the icing on the cake of a um, really well managed and well connected uh, woodland habitat. So we're really proud of what's happening in the A&B. 